Iran's army was considered the most powerful in the Middle East during the Shah's rule. The country had cordial relations and military links with the state of Israel. But after the Islamic Revolution and the costly war with Iraq in the 1980s, its army took a beating. Iran is geographically large. The country of 90 million has over 500,000 active military personnel, as well as fighters in the Revolutionary Guard Corps and Army Reservists. Western sanctions have weighed on the state of Iran's army, with Tehran struggling to upgrade its military hardware. Back in May, the helicopter of the country's late president crashed. The accident put the focus on the state of its decrepit air force. Iran is estimated to have roughly 140 American fighter jets from before the revolution, as well as more recent Russian-made models. To make up for shortfalls in hardware, the country has built ballistic and cruise missiles, as well as created a domestic industry of kamikaze drones. Iran used new hypersonic technology to retaliate against Israel in the latest barrage it launched. The missiles travel five times faster than the speed of sound. The advancement is also used to compensate for the state of the Iranian Navy. With three submarines and 50 patrol boats, Iran has turned to miniature submarines and surface ships, which can block maritime traffic in the strategic Strait of Hormuz. Iran also lacks modern anti-ballistic and air defense capabilities, which is why Tehran's strategy prioritizes asymmetric warfare through the use of regional proxies to keep the fight far away from its territory as possible.